Hello, YouTube Jonas. We field here once again for uh, my first ever versus video. This time, I'm gonna be doing it on two of the kind of same guy, I guess. Uh, Gallon Merrick of the Force Unleashed versus Star Killer of the Force Unleashed Two. Now, Gallon Merrick was taught by Darth Vader, taught the dark side by Darth Vader until he eventually turned on his master or rather Darth Vader turned on him and then he began to become a Jedi he was a Jedi he defeated Darth Vader but then was ultimately killed after defeating the Emperor trying to save his friends now Starkiller well he was the main character of the Force Unleashed too he wielded two lightsabers instead of one, like Gallimeric did. I believe with the Force, they had the same amount of power, I believe. Now, Darth Vader created this clone of Gallimeric, and it didn't do so well. Much like Gallimeric, it turned against Darth Vader and fought him. However, Darth Vader didn't make it too powerful. He made it just powerful enough to defeat anything except for him. And in the final battle, that's pretty much what happens. Starkiller is unable to defeat Darth Vader using his lightsabers. But he has to let Darth Vader disarm him first, and then using the Force, and only the Force, he defeats Darth Vader. So that's, that's how that goes. Now, when Gal and Merrick fought Darth Vader, he could have easily killed him. He chose not to. He chose to instead fight the Emperor, and even defeat him, which is very impressive. Not too many people can defeat the Emperor. Yoda couldn't. Mace Windu did, but he died soon after, but so did Gal Merrick, so it's very impressive. Um, let's see, he, he didn't kill Vader just because he didn't want to turn to the dark side and betray the Rebel Alliance. Now, Starkiller, he could have done the same thing. He cut Vader's hand off with his own lightsaber, and then he had the opportunity to kill him. However, he didn't do that. He did not kill Darth Vader, but instead kept him captive. Now, the difference between Starkiller and Gal Merrick after what happened with their fights with Vader is Gal Merrick was officially pronounced dead on the spot, and Starkiller's whereabouts are still unknown because they never made a Force Unleashed 3. So, yeah. Now, their skills with the Force is what I'll analyze first. As stated before, well, Starkiller defeated Vader with the Force. He could not defeat him using a lightsaber, but we'll get to that in a second. Their Force powers, I said, were pretty much equal. So, there's not going to be too much. They both had the ability to use Force Repulse as well as lightning at full power, which is very impressive, very strong. Um, now, who had more experience with it is what's really necessary. Gallon Merrick, he did a lot with the Force. He even pulled down an entire Star Destroyer just by himself, which no other Jedi has done that, or anything of such, I believe. And, well, Starkiller, he didn't have too much to do with the Force. Like, he, obviously, he knew what he was doing with the Lightning. And the only thing that made him different from Gallon Merrick is the ability to use Force Fury, which, Force Fury is just using, it obviously makes you more aggressive but it also gives you the ability to, how, does, how do I say, 
use physical attacks with the force. Like, if you punch somebody, they're dead, pretty much. Well, that's for stormtroopers and imperial troopers, I guess. But, well, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, that's the only thing that makes those two different. However, I'm going to give Gallimere the experience edge, but the overall edge... I would have to probably. I'd have to give it to Starkiller. Because he relied on the Force a lot more. As to where Gallon Merrick used it when necessary. Like with the Star Destroyer, that was absolutely necessary that he had to do that. So I'll give the edge, a slight edge, I might add, to Starkiller. Um. Their next is their skills with the lightsaber. Starkiller wielded two lightsabers, unlike Gallon Merrick, which, you know, can help him. He, he was good with them, too. He could fling around. He didn't really have to wield them when he swung them, like most Jedi, like Obi-Wan or Yoda did. He could instead throw them and then get them back before they he lost them, which is good. Uh, Merrick could do the same thing with his one lightsaber, but, yeah, now, the, they're, once again, the same, they both have the same experience with them, however, who's been in more lightsaber duels? Well, Merrick has been, in, let, me, let me try and count him, he's been two, four, at least, um, five, Five with force wielders, so not counting shadow guards or anything like that. Well, shadow guard is a force wielder, but not very powerful. You get what, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, he he has more experience in lightsaber duels, and they both fought Darth Vader. Both of them did, and they both beat him. However, with the lightsabers, a Star Killer couldn't defeat him. He just couldn't do it. Gallon Merrick, not only could he do it, he might have overdone it. Like, he annihilated Darth Vader in that fight. And, it's, yeah. Gallon, or sorry, not Gallon Merrick, Starkiller couldn't, couldn't do it. He lost his lightsabers in the fight and relied on the Force. So the edge for this one would easily go to Gallon Merrick. Now, if these two were to meet up on the off chance, I know it's impossible because Starkiller was cloned from Gallon Merrick's dead body. So, on the off chance, say that they did meet up like Gallon Merrick wasn't truly dead and he came back. Now, they would be jumping all over the place, first of all, throwing their lightsabers, everything, and it would just be an extreme battle. I, I have a feeling that Force powers would easily come into play, the Force Fury might even come into play, and that would hurt Gallimary bad, bad. However, he could easily defend from... Starkiller's attacks with his lightsaber. He was a very good defense master, and he, well, he could defend. Now, let's see, any anything else I might add before I get to the verdict? Uh, yeah, so let's see. Oh, if you're wondering, Gallon Merrick has taken on opponents with two lightsabers. Well, one opponent, really, I think. One, was it one? Yeah, it was. He took on Maris Brood. Now, her, her sabers were like Yoda's. Very small, however, still two of them. So, he does know what it's like to face an opponent with two lightsabers. So he wouldn't be like feeling overwhelmed if he fought Star Killer. Now, 
they're both very fast, so I don't believe one would get the jump on the other, like, say, Gallon Merrick got the jump on Vader, or, or anything like that. So, it would basically, it would be a very close fight, but my final verdict is that Gallon Merrick would kill him. He would kill Starkiller. Just because Vader made Starkiller's force powers and lightsaber skills to the point, well, just lightsaber skills, he made it to the point where he couldn't defeat Vader. So, Gallimeric is clearly more powerful than Vader and can do more with his lightsabers. So, he could, he could easily defeat him with lightsaber now. That would just bring him down to the Force. The Force is what he defeated Vader with, mainly as lightning. But, Gallimeric has got, he's good with the Force too. So, I have a feeling that they would both be rendered like, like, useless. They would both be rendered useless. They would get a few hits in with the Force, but I have a feeling most of it would, wouldn't be valid. So, in the end, Galen Merrick would overcome this obstacle and kill Starkiller in what would be a very close battle. That is my final verdict on who would win between Starkiller and Gallon Merrick. That's the end. Hopefully, I can think of a good one to do next time. In the meantime, bye.